Sorry about that. Okay, so now I'm on dress number three. This is the Scotty Dog dress. I decided that I was going to do the Scotty Dog dress a little differently than the pattern calls for. And again, this is the Buttrick 6094. This one right here. This gal right here. Um, I wanted to do some outlining. So I used bias binding on the sleeves to match, and then um, I made a little belt to back up and show you. Ooh. So there's the belt, and then I'm gonna back up a little more and step on the chair, and then turn around. This is a really full, it's like so full. And then let me give you a, okay. And then I tied it in the back with the belt, Up. It'd be cute to do pockets on this. I'd like to do some patch pockets with this. When I made this, hello again, when I made this, um, I decided to accessorize because I really love to accessorize. So when I was at Joanna Fabrics the other day, I saw these adorable Scotty buttons. They were on sale. They were like $2.49 and they were half off. And I was like, how can I resist? So I made these little Scotty dog earrings right here. And right, right here. So that's Scotty Dog earrings. They go really well. With this dress, I am wearing a uh, a sweatshirt underneath because it's really cold here today. It's cold and rainy in Chicago. And um, a couple of years ago, I purchased a shortbread box that had Scotty's all on. And this, oops, sorry. <laughs> um, it's the Walker shortbread box, and I made it into a purse, which I just love. It is just too cute, and I put a little handle on it, and it goes so cute with the dress. Looks like a lunch box almost. Hi, there we go. So, here we are, so I can have my purse. And be fashionable. Hey. Oh, okay. So that is that. Oh, sorry about all the gymnastics. It's hard to film when you're you don't have a, a camera and a crew to be more professional with. So that is it for my makes. Um, I'm gonna give you a sneak preview of one of the next dresses that I'm going to make. So buttons on an ice cream cone. Ah, so I brought to you during my Valentine's haul, this dress, which I'll come in for an extreme close-up, which is the Retro B6242, and this one right here is the one that I loved. So when I was at Hobby Lobby today, buying stuff that I should not buy, um, hold on one second, pardon me for one sec. I'm back. So I ended up buying today, excuse me, fabric for that dress. This is the fabric, which will be in my next, my March makes. This is the fabric. I was compelled and repelled by this fabric. I can't tell you. I really love it though. And I thought the flowers on it are big enough and the pattern is very retro, and I love the soft pink in the background, so I thought it would be absolutely perfect for this dress. And we shall see. So, those are my makes. I am totally out of breath, and I need to eat some lunch, but I just wanted to share to, with you today a quick lookbook. I appreciate, as always, you guys coming to join with me today, and um, keep sewing, keep happy, and have a beautiful day. And thank you again. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.